guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Desiree and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you could be so kind, please subscribe to my channel because it warms up my heart. And for today's video, I did this Christmas Day look that I think is very beautiful, very glamorous, and something you could wear, you know, to a Christmas party or just, you know, if you want to just look glamorous on Christmas Day. So if you want to see how I did this makeup look today, then continue watching. Let's get right into okay, this video. So I already did the face and my eyebrows and the products that I use will be listed down below in the description bar. And I'm just going in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance as always. And I'm just going to place this all over the lid. Okay, so for today's eyeshadow look, I'm going in with this e.l.f. quad and this is in Saturday Sunsets. It's such a beautiful quad. But this quad doesn't exactly have what I need to do this look. So I'm going to set my primer and I'm going in with this Profusion Palette Amber Eyes. And I'm going in with this shade right here. This is in the shade Ideal and I'm taking my Flower Beauty E01 brush. Looks like this. And I'm just going to tap off the excess and I'm just going to place this everywhere I just put my eye primer and this is just to set my primer and to give it a nice base a nice neutral base so this palette the elf palette does not have a transition shade so I'm just gonna go in with this shade here and this is easy going this is my profusion palette and I'm just gonna take the brush that I came with and I'm gonna take this fluffier side and I'm just going to put outgoing which is a beigey medium brown kind of shade and I'm only putting this in my crease and I'm not gonna put very much of it just a little bit this is just to have a nice space so I kind of like mapping out what uh, what type of look I'm gonna do okay so I already did one eye off camera so now I'm gonna show you what I did on this okay, eye. So I'm gonna use my elf contour brush it looks like this nice little dome uh, thick brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here now I can't tell you the name of this shade because it doesn't say but I am taking it here on my crease and I'm gonna work it in this outer part here right under the brow bone right where I put my transition shade and I'm going to work this here and slightly bring it out this way and I'm gonna do this step over and over and over until I get the desired um, color I'm looking for which is a nice um, darkish mauvey brown maybe like a taupey brown a taupey brown that's more like it a taupey brown without the sparkles it's matte <laughs> So I'm just going to bring this in, Mo mostly focusing the color here on the outer corner, right under the brow bone. And I'm just dragging it ever so slightly inner towards the eye, but mostly working it here. Okay. So now, this is more or less what I'm looking for, this nice dark shade. I'm going to go right next door to that shade, and I'm just going to use this purpley, plummy, um, very dark purple shade. And I'm taking this here on the outer V. And I will be taking a small amount of it into the crease as well. But I'm most, mostly focusing this purpley plum color here in the outer corner. Leaving this area open. We're going to apply some color there, but not right away. Make sure that when you are applying your color, you are getting it in this area. Do not leave this area um, empty or your whole look will just look kind of weird. Okay. 
Okay, so now that you have this darker outer part of the eye, we are going to take this light lavender color. It, could, it looks almost pink, but it's also a, it's more lavender. It looks more lavender to me. And I'm taking this uh, Mary Kay eye crease brush. It's pretty tapered, but it has like a, almost like a point to taper uh, eye crease brush. Tapping off that excess and I'm applying this here into the crease only. And this is just to amplify that that purple color to make it more, just make the look more well put together. And it also helps diffuse uh, any harsh lines. We don't want any harsh lines. Okay. So now that we have that, now I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. smudge pot and I have it in the shade Brownie Point. It has the, it's the one that has that white lid on it. And it's this um, almost penny copper kind of look, kind of look. It's a color, almost like a penny. And I'm taking the Sonia, Sonia Kashuk brush and this is a flat, uh, small brush and I'm taking just a small amount of it and I'm going to apply this <laughs> I'm gonna apply this only in this empty area that has no color in it it's okay if it doesn't look really perfect we're gonna go on top of it with another color and that will diffuse any harsh lines I'll show you in a minute so first the focus is to place the color here in this empty area only bringing it up ever so slightly into the crease just a little bit just right under the crease we want this color all over this inner part of the lid see I know it looks a little wonky now, but like I said, we're going to apply some color right now. And it's not going to look wonky. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this bronzy copper shade. Almost like almost like the shade of brownie points, but more orange toned. And I'm taking this e.l.f. flat brush. It's one of their dollar brushes. It may not be a dollar anymore, but back in the day, this was a dollar brush. And this thing I've had for years and it still works just so just wonderfully so I'm taking this copper shade and I'm putting this only where I've applied brownie points and I'm just going to blend while I'm also adding the color to diffuse any harsh lines lastly I'm gonna apply this highlight shade here and this is a matte uh, beigey type of shade it's very uh, skin toned beige and I'm going in with my Sephora angled shadow brush and I'm taking this only under the brow bone and this is just to clean up the look and to give it a nice effect and it'll also clean up any makeup mistakes I may have made like if it comes too out if the eyeshadow dark eyeshadow were to come out a little bit too much this type of shade can act like an eraser and it can erase what you've done see and it also just makes it look more put together when you add a when you add a shade like this sometimes you don't need a shimmery uh, shadow under the brow bone to give a complete look just a simple skin toned type of color on the brow bone will do the trick and you can have a very nice defined eye for the bottom lash line, I am taking a little bit of this lavender shade and I'm placing this under the under my lashes, right here in between this line. Not exactly here on the waterline and not too down. It's going to be right in between the bottom lashes. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of this 
a taupey brown type of shade and this plum type of shade or purple very dark purple and I'm mixing the two together and I'm gonna get myself a pretty unique type of um, under eye look and again we're not gonna bring this really down we're keeping this in between the lower lashes So now I'm going to use this L'Oreal Silhouette Eyeliner in Pure Purple, and I'm going to place this in my waterline. So now I'm going to line my top lash line with another L'Oreal Eyeliner Silhouette in Black. And for me, I'm not making it any big or any smaller I like to keep it pretty medium size and by medium size I mean it's not gonna be this ginormous line and it's not gonna be very thin either it's just gonna be a happy medium if that makes any sense okay so now I'm going in with my Kat Von D tattoo liner in a uh, trooper and this is just a black liner and I'm going to extend it a wing out and I'm just going to follow this bottom uh, lash line here like as if this line were to continuously go out 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 that's what I'm gonna follow that's how I make my wings so for example so I'm gonna see this line should be aligned with this line and then you just create your triangle and then fill in And then voila, you have a wing liner. I'm going to curl my lashes. This is my Sephora eyelash curler. And I'm going to take my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And I have the shade Blackest Black. I usually curl my lashes for about 10 seconds. And that usually gives me the curl that I like. Three, four, five, six. Now I'm going in with my mascara. I like to tilt my head back and then work in sections. I'm going in with my e.l.f. blush and bronzer duo and the one that I have is Fiji and that is the matte bronzer and matte blush. So I'm going in with this bronzer here and I'm taking this right under my cheekbone and I'm going in with my Sephora all over powder brush but it's kind of tapered and has like this uh, little pointed edge and for me it works really well for applying um, bronzer right under the cheeks so I'm taking this elf blush brush this is the angled one and I'm going in with this uh, blush and I'm taking this very lightly because this stuff is pigmented Ooh. see what I mean Dust that off because that is just too much. I'm not trying to look like I got slapped across the face. I'll just take whatever I have left over and place this here. I'll maybe take a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Tresseek highlighter and I'm going to place this here on the top of my cheekbones. Let's see, and I'm placing that there. And here, just a little bit down the bridge of my nose, and here on the top of my Cupid's bow. Then I'm going to take my number four Moda brush, and I'm going to blend that out. So because I want a more uh, highlight effect, I'm going in with my Anastasia Glow Kit, and I'm taking my e.l.f. blush brush, and this is the flat kind of brush but it has this almost oval like top of it see it's like this but then it's also flat and I'm gonna go in with the shade white sand this shade right here it's almost like a champagne kind of color and I'm placing this only here on top of my cheekbones to really highlight see 
Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Moda brush again, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this highlight here in snow, just a little bit, and I'm going to apply this in my inner corner. Okay, so now we're moving on to the lips, and I'm going in with my Too Faced Perfect Lips Lip Liner in the shade Perfect Red. Okay, now that I've lined my lips, I'm going in with my Tartise Lip Paint, and I think this shade is called Bay. It's in tiny little black letters here. And I'm just going to take this and put this all over my lips. So this is the overall finished look. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really makes my day when I see a thumbs up. And comment down below, what's your favorite thing about Christmas? Is it watching movies? Is it baking cookies? Spending time with family and friends? Whatever it is it may be, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and happy holidays and a great New Year's Day. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys.